David Campos. I'm a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, and uh, I, I don't know that it's uh, that anyone can really do uh, justice to uh, everything that, that Jose has left as a legacy because he's done so much, not only his work with the imperial court system and all that that uh, system has done in terms of helping the community, but really, in many respects, you know, the, the gay political movement uh, started because of Jose. Uh, he ran for supervisor in 1961. Uh, as an openly gay candidate and did extremely well and I think that that opened the door for people like Harvey Milk and I certainly uh, I know that I wouldn't be where I am today uh, without uh, Jose and what he did uh, back in 1961 and since then so uh, very honored to have met him uh, and uh, it's, it's sad that you know, it's been a year since his passing, but we're also here to celebrate his incredible life and what he left behind. And for me, as a, not only openly gay man, but as a Latino uh, openly gay man, uh, it is uh, quite uh, uh, amazing for me that uh, that it was a Latino gay man who uh, who did what Jose did and who had the courage to run for elected office in 1961 when. Uh, being gay meant uh, that you were being put in jail and uh, so it was a very courageous thing and you know for us as members of the Latino LGBTQ community it is quite uh, an honor that someone from our community play that role.